Hello, landlords. Um, your property, you want it back, uh, but your tenants got it. And so we're going to talk today about uh, motivating them. Um, there are certain things you can do and certain things you should never do. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been helping clients for over a decade, and now I'm coming straight to you. To get even more great videos, click our links to like and subscribe. Stay in touch by phone, text, email, or on our highly interactive Facebook group, Texas Landlords. And now, Ernie Talks. So it's reasonable to believe you want to get your property back and you want to get it quickly, especially from a tenant who is not paying rent and who is, you know, uh, openly telling you they're not going to pay the rent. And if you want your property back, you're going to have to get a judge to kick me out. N nobody likes hearing that. And so sometimes landlords are provoked into doing things that they otherwise might not do. They do it because they feel that as the owner of the property, it's well within their rights. This is my property. And so I get to decide who gets to stay here or not, especially, hey, that lease, it terminated, or that lease, they breached it, or I really don't like this person. And, and, and so what kind of things does the law allow and what sorts of things are very, very disallowed? We're going to talk about those things today. We, uh, you, you are probably familiar already, if you've seen enough of my videos, with the eviction process. You are allowed to politely and civilly ask a tenant to leave your property. That's what a notice to vacate is all about. In writing, you make an unequivocal, undeniable, unmistakable demand um, to get your property back. And so you hand that in and you hope that your tenant acts in kind, is just as civil and just as polite, um, and, and ultimately hands over the keys and says, thanks, but didn't work out, uh, maybe next time. We all know that's, that's not usually uh, the, the way that it works. Uh, if you've come to me, it's because that failed big time. But I've, I've heard from a number of landlords who say, well, I just take care of it the old fashioned way, right? And so uh, I, I call this landlord uh, old school Oscar. Now, old school Oscar uh, takes matters in his own hands and he goes and he shuts the water off. He calls the utility company and says, electricity gone. No more need for it, thanks. He goes and tampers with the um, air conditioning unit outside and disables it. Or he removes the front door. So these are things that used to happen in the past and the courts would, you know, look away. They'd turn and say, well, it's their property, they're allowed to do it. But, but the law has changed. And now tenants have all sorts of protections. And so, no, you're not allowed to retaliate against your tenant and shut off their utilities without some valid reason. And non-payment of rent is not a valid reason. Repair is a valid reason. Uh, so if there's, you know, some work that needs to, needs to be done, uh, you can shut things off temporarily, but you certainly can't use it as a method of motivating your tenant to leave. You can't shut off the water. You can't shut off the electricity or the gas, uh, that just is not allowed. Uh, what about uh, denying them certain luxuries like air conditioning? No, you, you cannot do these things. You're allowed to ask them to leave with a notice to vacate, but that's it. Um, and so if that has not worked, then you are allowed to sue them. Uh, and so what about repairs? Uh, do you have to go and take care of repairs? while they're not paying rent? Well, first of all, like I always mention, you need to look at your lease. Uh, make sure that your lease has a provision that explains if you're not current with rent, uh, there are certain repairs that I'm not on the hook for. Now, the ones you may be on the hook for and, and, and are likely uh, to cause you to, to have to go out even if rent is unpaid are those that affect the health or safety of an ordinary tenant. And so the property code takes these very, very seriously. 
if you've got an issue where some defect on your property creates this situation. There is no absolute definition of, of what exactly this means. You're, you're going to have to use your own judgment, uh, uh, hopefully before a court has to. But if, in fact, you uh, or you can reasonably determine that this defect would affect the health and safety of an ordinary tenant, you got to take care of it. You just have to. Uh, and so you, you got to put aside the idea that they're not paying rent. Instead, what you need to do is uh, the moment there is a default, you need to go to the you need to uh, enter in that notice to vacate to your tenant and demand possession, uh, because too many times I've seen landlords get so frustrated because their tenant hasn't paid rent in six months, uh, and they're just now beginning the eviction process. Well, at, at this point you've lost six half a year of of rent revenue, and you're probably going to lose another two to three months, uh, and so. To prevent these losses, you, you have to be much quicker on the draw uh, when you're moving forward with eviction. Use the eviction process as your legal motivation to get your tenants to pay their rent or to move on. Don't rely on alternative self-help methods. Uh, unfortunately, what I see is these end up just getting clients in trouble. So stay on the right side of the law and the law will help you. Cross that boundary and, and you can be severely uh, reprimanded by a court and sometimes even sanctioned uh, where you are writing the check to your tenant. Ouch, that's terrible. Uh, so don't put yourself in, in that situation. If you have a question about where that boundary exists or whether you are obligated to act in a very specific way, even when your tenant is not paying rent, consult a licensed uh, real estate attorney uh, to, to get the answer to that question. Uh, until next time, happy leasing. If you enjoyed this video, we invite you to like and subscribe. Follow our links to even more great content. We are always adding to this collection. If you have a video topic you'd like to see, comment below.